I'm the CEO of Ogo Secrets Nigeria. Got married in 2012 and now I have two children. I had my first degree in English and Literature um, from Kogi State University and then a master's degree at uh, University of Lagos in Public and International Affairs and afterwards um, hold a diploma in Child Nutrition. Prior to Ogo Secrets, I used to be a journalist and uh, I started Ogo Secrets even while I was a journalist. Um, I had my son, my first son in 2014, but like I said before then, I love to cook, I love to create food, and I'm a believer you know, in natural foods, that foods should be as rich and as nutritious as possible. So when I had my son outside of, of the country, and I returned with him, you know, I returned with loads of foods, different jar foods, different flavors, and everything, you know. Okay, when I resume work, between then and when he clocks one, he wouldn't need to buy anything. So when I started um, with the food after the exclusive breastfeeding for six months, I needed to resume work and I started him on the food and then he rejected all of them. I mean, I needed to resume. So breast milk um, obviously wasn't sufficient for him anymore. So um, that was when I said, look, is there no African food that can you know, give this child or an African child sufficient um, meal to supplement for breast milk? So I decided to begin to make my findings. I started with um, health centers. Anytime we go for checkups, I had to report to the matrons and to the pediatricians. And from then, I started trying out my unique recipes. I've always loved to clean. I started trying out the nutritious recipes and then I realized that they were actually even better than the jar foods he rejected. So by starting out all this, I realized that a lot of, a lot of mothers actually had the same need, you know. So and, um, by sharing from referrals, that was how Ogo Secret started. So we had to put um, structure into everything so that we'll be able to deliver value, the same value to more mothers. Ogo Secret was derived from my, let me say my creativity, you know, and I just wanted to do something around cooking. Sincerely, I didn't want to, I didn't plan to do anything around cooking baby food. So, but I just wanted to say, okay, I wanted to do something else, you know, with my life. I realized that I'm creative with cooking and I have some secrets that make, um, Foods taste good, especially good. So, and I was born in August, August Secret, August Secret. And then when the baby, and when the need to create baby food arose, I started asking people, so should we go August Secret baby? Everyone was like, no, just leave it, August Secret, and that's it. Sincerely speaking, I started doing the research. You know, it's one thing to actually cook for your child, and it really worked. Um, but then I had to um, rely on um, certain um, research um, institutions. Um, I did, did a course um, on um, making um, local baby foods at um, Harvest Plus um, in Ibadan. And I also um, had the opportunity to um, get featured to say, okay, what you've learned, you know, to try it out at one of the nutri um, nutritious and food fairs. We actually got the invitation from the Scaling Up Nutrition Business Network to be a part of them, to say, okay, they would like to support what we are doing, to um, offer our support you know, on how to actually scale up and actually provide this nutritious food to reach, you know, a higher number of children. Different um, initiatives, different um, um, trainings have been done and we've actually um, benefited from the trainings and that has actually helped us in developing our recipes, in actually um, making efforts to ensure that the foods, you know, get to the right um, children. We have um, different products. We actually have six products. The first one is the Naughty Meal. Somehow, the Naughty Meal has um, become the best seller for now at some time there were, there are actually orders all the foods are actually good and um, the reason we have six products is because seven children variety is very important so you don't just give one kind of food for the child so that is actually what um, August Secret stands for to say look it is an African food it contains no preservatives it contains no fillers it contains no extra 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 things that you you really don't know but we're saying that it is 100% African if that is the case how are we going to make this food appeal to the children and actually supply them the essential micronutrients that their body needs to grow? So the first one is the nutty meal, which contains guinea corn, yellow corn, millet, soya and brown nuts. So the soya and the brown nuts are, are you know, properly made in such a way that can stand you know, with the grains. So because they are not grains, they are nuts products. So put them together and that was what gave us the nutty meal. Then we also have the mixer grain. The mixer grain you know, has a higher uh, um, carbohydrate content, unlike the nutty meal. So the mixer grain contains brown rice, 
It contains potatoes, it contains guinea corn, and it contains yellow corn. Um, we also have the veggie beans, and the veggie beans um, is actually one of the most interesting products at August Secret because anytime people hear beans, you go like beans for a baby, you know, it's a, oh, it contains XYZ, but the truth is beans actually is rich in carbohydrates that the babies actually need, aside the protein content, and aside um, the fact that it actually contains vegetables. Okay, so the veggie beans is serving two purposes. One is to let people know that, look, beans is actually the same way it is high in protein it is actually high in carbohydrates as well so babies that eat veggie beans you see them jumping all over the place they are very strong and then you know unlike the way people think about it so gradually it's it is an interesting product and you know it's actually i call it the beauty of africa really speaking because i mean all the foods of the shelves you can't find you know a product like veggie beans so um, veggie beans uh, contains vegetables um, and um, it's actually specifically made for uh, babies who don't like vegetables you know the slicing uh, your mommy slices the carrots into the food and then the babies don't like it so veggie beans is there you know to actually provide the same nutrients you know from vegetables in a smooth way for the child and then we also have um, the spices which is um, the crayfish and the fish those ones are um, extra um, supplements that provide iron that provides um, protein and even fats you know to enrich the baby's foods so and then um, the sixth product is um, the meal plan book so the meal plan book so just like the product um, was a child of necessity was a child of demand to say okay we've um, for the child so we share recipes we share cooking tips so and then you know mothers go like oh the cooking tip you shared yesterday oh the carrot puree recipe you shared yesterday I've forgotten can you tell me again so it's actually um, we couldn't reach enough mothers you know, by share. I, I mean, imagine how many mothers call me on the phone to say, please, can you uh, uh, tell me about the recipe? So I'm always on phone. I mean, it's not been effective. How many people do we want to actually reach with that? I'm um, using that medium. So um, that way, mothers actually demanded that. Look, can you just make a book for us so that I wouldn't have to call you all the time? So in making the book, even after the book, so we realized that mothers still needed support. And that's the truth. A mother, especially first-time moms, they actually need support on how to um, feed their children, beginning from complementary foods to when they are teething, to immunizations, to um, when they uh, need to um, eat finger food, to when they need to then start taking uh, um, foods at the dining table with, with the rest of the family. So it's actually a long journey. So we now said, okay, guys, how about we have a club? where you know we can actually discuss all of these things so the club now gave us a closer uh, attention you know with the mom so having the club you can actually okay i've explained xyz recipe to a certain mom yesterday and then another mom throws in the same question that mother that we've explained to can also go ahead to explain to other moms the mother too also has our own ideas you know and then we share the ideas that way we um, the mothers get support the mothers get to you know share uh, um, uh, their challenges with feeding their children and guess what the interesting part is we also share you know other challenges and try to help each other find solution you know to balancing you know the mother's career with uh, the um, child's nutrition uh, you know building the family and all of that so it's been an interesting one with the mom's club we actually um, source some of our products from farmers we source some from farmers and then we also source um, from middlemen who are the processors so um, we have some farmers who we actually reach um, directly, especially those who produce potatoes and all of those. So we have farmers who actually supply us and then we also have processors who reach these farmers, process it to reduce the t um, production time for us and then we just get directly from the processors. August Secret um, production actually started from my kitchen, so it's actually been you know, a journey and then in, um, our production needs actually increase daily. You know, we have, um, we started 18 months ago, so the first four months was in my kitchen, then the following four months again, we started using my kitchen and then another cluster. So the truth is, we actually have um, a cluster at the Technology Incubation Center, um, so where we actually um, joined together with other entrepreneurs to be able to leverage on certain things as a startup. I mean, we didn't have as a startup, um, for instance, electricity issue we couldn't handle it you know on our own we had to start you know from the uh, we had to partner with um, some other um, food processors to actually see how we could leverage on what they have so we also have some partners who have the machines we don't have you know as much machines as we actually produce right now so we actually went into partnership we actually have some partners whom we work with who do the major part of the production so while we actually do the ones we can do the uh, the aspect of the productions that we cannot do we partner with 
with some other uh, with fellow um, processors to do it. Um, to get um, the NAVDAC registration for Ogo Secret product was um, challenging, but um, it was worth it. So it's a different thing if something is unnecessarily challenging and um, you didn't succeed. I met her for the first time last month, my first ever client, and then she was even the one who reminded me that she was my first client. So, and it happened because the first ever recipe that I posted that my son accepted after he rejected all those jar foods and I posted a, a recipe to say, oh, finally, I posted, I made this, I posted it on my, uh, I posted the recipes on my social media handles, on my personal handles to say, guys, guess what? My son that has been rejecting, you know, these pre-made foods, I made this for him. So I was excited, like finally, he was able to eat to feel today. So, and I used the opportunity to share um, my story and then, you know, um, the situation that brought about the posts on my Facebook page and my Instagram page and even on Twitter. I said it then that I, you know, um, returned from uh, abroad with my son and he hasn't been taking all those foods. I've been depressed. He's been losing weight. But then I tried this pap in a certain way and it was actually very good. The moment I made the post, a woman sent me um, a message, you know, um, she sent me a message and said she just returned from you know the US where she had her son and she's having exactly the same issue. So when she sent me the message, like two other moms actually sent me the message at the same time. But the truth is, um, Mrs. Kende was the first person I delivered to. I you know took I even took a public bus because there was a lot of traffic, and you know I had to uh, uh, take the public bus. I had to pa um, package the um, products. It was wet. We didn't. I didn't have any any um, um, equipment to dry it like we do now. So then it was wet. I had to put everything together and um, in a bag. And then I, you know, kept on calling her. She was calling me, where are you now? I was, I was, you know, telling her that I'm on my way. I was coming. So was, sincerely speaking, it was an interesting one for me. I was excited that, so someone could actually say, I need this thing you're doing. But I said, then when I was doing it, I was having fun. And then she collected it and she was even grateful and she paid for it. And then she returned with a feedback to say, so this thing makes sense because my son is taking it. And since then, that was how it all started. Mommy, this will call. Mommy, that will call. Please come and help me. Please come and help me. And you know, that was how. So the distribution started when the demand started increasing and then from different um, areas, from different parts of the world. So um, the first, we, I, I didn't even think about the idea of distributors really. Um, I thought that I was going to be sending you know, those items, anybody who orders to say, okay, can you make this for me from Abuja? I'll just make it and send to the person. That was what I thought. And then I was the only one you know, running the business. So um, the first um, idea that came to my mind was that, okay, I have four mothers who have actually um, made a request from Abuja. So I packaged the foods, I wrapped them into a Ghana Moscow bag. I took them to the park and on getting to the park, by the time it got to Abuja, it was already a mess. It was already broken, it was spoiled. You know, that means I didn't package it properly. There was no carton, there was nothing. It was in a nylon bag. I just wrapped it with cello tape and took it to the park. And items, you know, my first um, uh, um, uh, large item like that, because I had just collected my, my ajo from the office. So everything was 77,000 and everything got broken. And I had to do refunds for each of the mothers. So truthfully, out of um, all the mothers, about 12 of them that ordered, two or three of them actually said, no, I understand you're just starting and it's not your fault, you know, it's a mistake. So, but then I had to refund every one of them. So then, and I started thinking, so is this how we're going to continue? The moment um, um, I was being sad that these items got bad, another mother is calling from Calabar, another mother is calling from the US. So we now decided, I now decided to sit down to say, look, um, we need to put a structure into this distribution. So we had to say, okay, we, uh, we are going to make our distributors our ambassadors. You know, we needed to let them know that, you know, you are the mother from Calabar, but can you just please be our you know, our distributor in this um, city. So, and then uh, that was how we started. So we um, have distributors, we started with Abuja. Funny enough, out of the 24 distributors we, we have currently, only about two of them, um, it was just about two of them that we asked, that we approached. The others actually came to meet us because they believed in the vision. So um, um, that's, you know, even makes us excited to say, okay, 
the first two people we actually approached to say, okay, let them uh, come on board to come and be the distributors. Before you know it, a lot of people started saying, look, I believe in this vision. I would like to be um, the ambassador or the distributor for August Secret in my area. And then we shipped to them. That way, it actually helped other mothers to relate, you know, with fellow mothers. It was easier for us to actually have um, someone who would take responsibility for her area and they're actually glad doing it. So we have distributors in Ghana. Um, aside the 20 cities in Nigeria, we have a distributor in Ghana, we have a distributor in the um, UK, and we have one in Atlanta in the USA. And we'll, we'll have more coming on board.